Hello, this is Ken Franklin on the move from Woodridge Forest Middle School, where it was game on this past Friday in the school's first ever Grow, Achieve, Motivate, Elevate student conference. This one day conference brought together students, staff, business leaders, and community members in a learning event that connected local professional talent and expertise with specific real world student interests. The idea for the Game On Conference was inspired by the students themselves. It's also Game On for the expansion of Woodridge Forest Middle School, part of the bond program approved by voters last year. Construction of the school's new wing began in March and is scheduled to be completed in the summer of 2020. The expansion will include more classrooms and physical education dressing room space, as well as updates to the fire alarm system and expanded parking. Design is underway for two other projects as well, the new Kiefer Crossing Middle School and the district's third comprehensive high school. We'll talk more about these projects in the future, but you can visit our website now to learn more. This week is National Teacher Appreciation Week. Since 1984, the National PTA has designated one week in May as a special time to honor the men and women who lend their passion and skills to educating our children. Teachers make a difference every day in the lives of students here in New Caney ISD and all across the country. Public education is a cornerstone of democracy and teachers are the pillars of our public schools. This week is a time to officially salute our teachers for the work they do, but we should appreciate them every day. I encourage you to thank a teacher today. Also, visit our website to view the Lasting Impressions video series in which New Caney ISD seniors talk about teachers who have impacted their lives for the better. Thank you, teachers, for all you do. Finally, the 86th state legislative session is nearing completion. Public education is among the many important issues the legislature is addressing, and with only a few weeks to go, our legislators need to hear from you. Whether it's safety and security, school funding, or assessment and accountability, these issues impact you. I encourage you to learn more and let our elected officials know what you think. Visit our website for resources on how to follow the legislative process. With that, thanks as always for supporting our students, our teachers, and our schools. New Caney ISD is a great place to be. I'll see you next time on The Move.